All right. Good evening. Hello. Hi. Uh, you're my brother, so I already know you, but what's your name? My name is Cole. All right. Great to see you tonight, Cole. Uh, happy Sunday. And yeah. uh, excited to look at art. So for anyone who's watching this, well, uh, you already I already told you, but so my idea is just to um, get to have a moment with folks who are doing all of uh, the in front line necessary work that needs done, you valuable essential workers want to have a moment and just have uh, some respite, some joy, some fun, looking at art. Um, Absolutely. And it's gonna be cool. So um, do you wanna tell us a little bit about your job, what you do? Uh, I give commodities to the elderly. What that is is that uh, people that are low income uh, that need food come to us and we provide them with uh non-perishable products so Thanks. they come in once a month and or right now during the uh, epidemic we are delivering to everybody since uh people can't come into the store right now we don't want anybody in there so yep so it used to be like you had a storefront and people could come and pick up yep. food and their and necessities they could, and now you guys are delivering tons yep, of food and they to a lot of people uh, some people are mad because they used to be able to kind of choose like what they get. They could do like one hot cereal, like uh, oatmeal or cream of wheat, or they could do cold cereal or they could do, you know, two of each, but now they get a fixed box and it's got, you know, certain vegetables and certain fruit and some yeah. people aren't okay with that. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's hard because there's just like everyone is having to make some kind of accommodations yeah. and it's like, I feel like for a lot of us, it doesn't matter like how much we know we need to make changes. It still doesn't mm -hmm. make it easy to Absolutely. like be restricted. And so I'm glad you're here because we need people to remember that like we're all doing the best we can and some of us have to do a lot right now. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Yeah, thank you. All right. So uh, we have looked at art together last Sunday. We're gonna look at art together again. Uh, I picked up some random pieces and um, you told me last time because I asked you, I was like, what kind of art do you like? You're like, I don't know. I like sculptures. So I picked a sculpture, which is going to be fun. Right. So you're, now you have something to be excited about. There's a sculpture there in the mix. Okay. So I got a couple, I don't know. I feel like one's challenging. I feel like one is straightforward, but who knows? Okay. All right. Here comes some art. All right. Our first piece of art. Uh, my sculpture. No, actually. It's kind of sculpture-y. Right. This is, this is the, the just take random stuff and make it into, what's the word? Come on, art lady, teach me. But wait, wait, well, you have to use more words to try to let me know what you're saying. Abstract, not abstract, abstract. Well, I don't know. So abstract is like when something represents something, but it doesn't quite look like that. And so in some ways, maybe this is abstract. But our this is like, this is like when you go into the historical building and they got the big sludge build up in the middle of the room. Oh, yeah. It's so funny that that's still there. I mean, it's not that it's funny, but it's amazing that like we like, grew up with that display yep, and it's still yep. there. Yeah, 30 years ago, it was that big sludge build up and it's still there. Do you remember what that big sludge build up like represents? all the toxicness in the environment yes so it's really it's i think it's really interesting that you're connecting that to this because this artist is really inspired by environmentalism okay so i don't know how you would know that gets it gets it like a lot of the stuff from the junk well i don't <laughs> i don't know I, mean, would, I don't saying, know if these saying. things are junk i don't so there's a lot of art that's like made out of found objects like things that maybe are trash uh-huh so are you thinking that maybe these things are found object things? Or do yeah. you think the artist made these I mean, things? The only thing, no, the only thing that he went and picked up from a thrift store is that cup and maybe whatever the little jack. And then the rest he got from a dump. <laughs> like what? What's from a dump? The wood, the whatever the little circle. Can I? Oh, yep. Whatever the little circle thing is on top of the jack. Well, the rest is garbage. That rock. Yeah, whatever oh. that thing. Hey, whoa. Sorry. Uh, so, what about over the tech? Over and over. 
over and over and over and over and over. Do you think they found that text in the trash or do you think they created that text? They, they probably created that one. Okay. I mean, so do you recognize like the artist? So the artist is a woman. Her name is Mary Mattingly. Um, Okay. And What's, what's the blue stuff under the cup? Oh, there's stuff in the cup that's pouring out onto the table. Yeah. Do you notice that it matches the rock that's up top, too? The same blue? Yeah. So is the table included in the art? So this, I can tell the way you're talking about it, you think that this is like a 3D piece sculpture. Yeah. This is a photograph. Oh. Do you see the frame now? Yes. Okay. So, but it makes me, I mean, the artist then still had to like build what it's a picture of. Yeah, absolutely. And then take a picture of it and then... Yeah. So since it's a photograph, that does that change anything <clears throat> for you other than that makes it, you know, for sure that the table's included then, you know? Yeah. I mean... I mean, it'd probably be more fun to see if it was just a sculpture. Yeah, I, I agree. I think like if I, if that thing was an exhibit, I would stop and look at it more carefully than if it was a picture on the wall. Yeah. Um, you know, does this, so we mentioned how you thought of environmentalism because you're tied uh, to that. And then also like the fact that you connected it to the historical building, which is like a history museum. It looks like a display then, right? Yes. Yeah. Are there any other like themes that you feel from it? Mm. I mean, I'm just getting like that rustic, I don't know. I don't know about a theme. Does it, I mean, does it make you think of like science? No. Okay. But I think of like an experiment, the way it's like set up. But All right. I'm also probably biased because this was just in a show that we had at the Art Center about science. So it's gotcha. interesting, like how <clears throat> the way I've seen it curated is going to affect how I see it, you know? Absolutely. Yep. Do you think that the composition is interesting? The way it's laid uh, out? Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, she got, like, the blue underneath the blue, and, I mean, yeah, I like the way it's laid out. It's nice. I mean, it's, she did, she did a good job of doing what she wanted to do, I suppose, but, like, it's used, she used the space the way she used wanted to use well. it. the space well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, do there's you... a big empty spot in that one corner. <laughs> Does there... How does like the element of balance play into it? Um, I mean, it's all balanced on the table. I I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, why. but I'm just thinking. Okay, I guess what I'm saying is like I feel like that big rock up there looks heavy. Okay, and like the things that should be on the table are actually kind of elevated. Like yeah. The, so the rock and the cup, and the little circle. What, so what is the thing on the jack? What is the circle thing, the white thing? Um, I don't know. Can you zoom in? Oh, oh, I don't know how to zoom in. I don't think I, I mean, can I'm, zoom in. Can you? I can't. Yeah, no, I can. I am. I'm going to just, you're going to see my face really close because I'm just, I mean, to me, it looks like light, like a bulb. Like a light bulb on there? Yeah, and maybe that's why it kind of looks like science to me. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Like the, the blue rock is kind of like, it could be uh, uh, ge- uh, the ge- geology. Ge- geology. And then there's and like, I mean, it's interesting too because we see this white wall, like it looks like it's inside. Uh huh. But then underneath the table's dirt. Oh yeah, I guess I I guess I thought that was like just a weird brown carpet. It could be a gross carpet, but it could be. I mean, I was just thinking like. I don't know. But remember to more outside look, now that I'm zoomed in. I'm looking at it a computer screen and you're looking at it on a phone. So that could yeah, change absolutely. how much detail we can see too. Yeah, absolutely. But so it's interesting because I don't feel like the wood, the wood looks new to me. Like it looks like this uh-huh. is definitely built. The, I mean the bottom wood, but then like the wood that's right next to the rock up there, I mean that's old. That's old. Yeah. I mean it she yeah. She did a good job using materials she found around her house. Um, I think, you know, 
the fact that you were so curious about that white circle. I think it's because it's so central. It's Absolutely, like, yeah, like, it's right in the middle of the thing. Yeah, and everything else, like, you can kind of understand what you're looking at, even though some of it's mysterious. Uh, but yeah. that circle, you're like, what is that important thing? Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing that I do, so I don't know a lot about the works we're looking at today, so I was kind of wanting to look at things that I haven't looked at much. Also, that yellow and that blue are nice colors, and there's, like, no other color. Yeah. The yellow really complements that like blue. The, yeah, otherwise it's, like, the brown or the white or the black. Yeah, they're really, like, industrial colors. Yeah. Um, but one thing I know is, like, that material that's up top of the rock is a naturally mined cobalt. Okay. So it's, like, naturally that color and something that artists used to make paint out of. And I know that it's, like, a rare material that gets used in things. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. So it's, like, if the artist was just inspired by that, you know what I mean? Like, who knows what, like, led her to make this? Uh, yeah. And this idea of, like, resources, maybe? Yeah. And I just noticed, too, the way that over and over and over, and it ends with and, because the title of the piece is over and over and over, um, but it looks like it's going to fall a little bit, like it's hanging off the edge of the table. Oh, yeah. So those are, like, the weird balance things that I'm noticing, and, like, the things are balanced on things. Mm-hmm. Like... Yeah, everything's, there's a lot of balancing going on there, really. Yeah. Yeah, the, the cord on the rock, the rock on the picture, the, the board, the picture on the table, cup on the little spike. And I can't tell what the black round thing on the table is either. Like no, I know. It's like, like coal to me, maybe. <laughs> Almost looks like a thick hockey, I don't know. Yeah, coal <laughs> And another thing I noticed, too, is, like, I think it's interesting that wall <coughs> is really white, mm -hmm. but the light is so, so white, and by comparison. Yeah. Like, nothing else looks white compared to how, like, bright that thing is. Uh, yep, yep, agreed. Yeah. So, there's not a lot in this piece, but, like, with the elements that are in it, there's a lot to, like, dig into if you do explore Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Okay, final thoughts? Mm. It's not, I mean, it's all right. Like I said, I think, I think I would like it a lot better if it was the full setup rather than a picture. Yeah, it makes me wonder, too, if the artist ever displayed it as yeah. a setup. Because, like, you know she had to make it. Yeah. Might as well display it if you made it. Yeah. All right. I mean, but may, maybe, maybe part of it is that it's, like, the optical illusion of it almost looks like a white back with the, it almost looks like it's in the house, but then it's got that dirt looking bottom, you know? Yeah. Maybe, maybe they're actually saying that over and over and over again, sign is bolted to the wall or something. Oh yeah. We really don't know yeah. how things are attached. No. Or if they're just balanced or if things are really like adhered together. Yeah, it's a weird one. It's weird. It's weird. All right. Let's move on. All right. Mm, all right. Very nice. <laughs> what do we think? It's got like almost pastel colors. Uh huh. It's got like uh, kind of the the Mexican vibe to it, you know. I could see that. The, like like a folk art. Yes. Mm hmm I like it. It looks, uh, I like the orange. It stands out? Yes. Is there um, a mood to this piece? Tranquil? Tranquil I mood? Tranquil's very nice. It's very relaxed. You got the little, I can't tell if it's the actual window with the sunrise or sunset, but you got the sun doing something back there and... <laughs> flowers growing yeah it's a uh, lady happy with her cello yeah she does look happy with her cello it's fun that like she's got sheet music so she's no you know she's studying as opposed to yep. just free playing yeah see i guess i didn't see that sheet music I i'm just pointed out. yep there's just a i mean it's interesting that like to look at this piece it seems really straightforward and then like there is quite a bit of detail mm-hmm She does look happy playing her cello. Yeah. 
There's like a picture of a Native American in the corner, which is kind of weird. Yeah, I was wondering. It, it, I mean, let me see. I wish I had written down where the artist was from, but I'm going to guess America, but I don't really know. Um, but the piece is from 1977. Michelle. Yeah, that's the Michelle. title is Michelle. Oh. That's why I picked it. Michelle. By so we get, Amen. What? By Amen. Um, yep, the last name's Amen. Irving oh. Amen. I've got hmm. water in my eye. I'm wiping it. Wipe it. Wipe uh, it, sister. <laughs> uh there's just I don't know. Uh do you know like complementary color? So like the complement of orange is blue. Okay. So there's the the orange and blue. Green going green on. and green and yellow. Yeah. And yeah. do you know can you guess like how this piece was made? Sidewalk chalk. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, what makes you say that? Is it the color? It's just it looks like chalk to me. Like uh like pastel you. Yeah. It's a woodcut. Really? Yeah, so that's like all the details and stuff. This was cut out of a piece of wood and then printed off of. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Hmm. And it's very geometric. It's got some strong arms. <laughs> For sure. I mean, look, you got some, she got some, what are the biceps? Triceps. Her, her oh. forearms are real beefy. Forearm, too. yeah. Yeah. Um, why do you Throw think the artist... Over made her in like it's interesting that the artist made her in all white like her skin and her top yeah and then put little komodo slippers on oh, you think it's a you think it's a picture in the background or you think that's a window that's a window i think it's a window just because it's so big and feels important mm -hmm. but it's the same the background of the window is the same color as the background of the portrait that's on her wall uh, and that's interesting. Yeah. And I don't know the. I mean, like, because this is a print, we're definitely like limited with how many colors they used. Yeah. So it's not like they used every single color they wanted. They had to. No. Pick. Yeah. Well, they did a good job. <laughs> um, but you notice like all the geometric shapes too, like all around the Very space. Triangle. Yep. And like lots of detail. Mm hmm Rigid edges. Yeah, really sharp. Yeah. There's like a little city. Mm hmm It's interesting that like it's like a city and then water maybe? And then a sunset? Yeah. Or grass? Maybe a, yeah, maybe plains. It's the plains. It could be, it's, it's could be plains. It could be the plains. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. It's very, it's, uh, it's, I mean, it looks like something you're going to see at Henry J's. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, it looks decorative, you know? Yes. Like, it, the last piece we saw definitely looks like something you would see in a modern art museum. The mm -hmm. last one. And this one yeah. looks like something you could see in a restaurant or in somebody's house. Absolutely. Yep. Or, I mean, in a lot of ways, it looks like it could be an illustration for a book. Yeah, I can see that. But it is it is interesting. And, and it's like, I mean, the year it was made, it's still pretty old at this point now. Okay, what year was it? Okay. Yeah, it's like that Streganona kind of artwork, huh? Yeah, like a children's book, yeah. 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 Good, hey. good piece to pick. Thank you. All right. We have one more piece. Are we doing good? Woo woo. All right. Oh, the old sculpture park, huh? Yeah. Because my guess is, have you been there in person, Cole? Yeah. Um, For me, I'm going to go Pokemon hunting. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. What is your favorite sculpture in the sculpture park? I mean, I really like the real, uh, the colorful thing that you can walk in. Oh, that's, that's my favorite. That's cool. Yeah. Um, the, the title of that one's called the Panoramic, Panoramic Awareness Pavilion. Oh, really? Yes. 
I love it. It's so yeah, it's so good. I'm glad you love that one. Um, have I you do ever like that. I like the moose too. I like that moose one behind this one. Moose, that's a bunny. It's a moose. It's, <laughs> a bunny. it's supposed to be a hare. Well, a hare, a moose, same thing. <laughs> I'm gonna look it, look that up. When you Fact check a, you. When you when you give a moose a muffin, when you give a hare a donut, you know. Same. In the end, it doesn't turn out well. No. Have you ever the one we're looking at now? Have you spent much time looking at it before? Uh, I wouldn't say much time. I've seen it. It's creepy. You think it looks it's like okay? a spider? It looks like, it's like spider. A, it's, it's called spider. Juicy. It is real beetle juicy. You know, I think a lot of pieces down there are kind of, but Tim Burtony. Yeah, but also I watched Beetle Juice not that long ago, and it is funny that like he's like an art collector. Uh huh. So he's got all these like weird sculptures, and I was just like, what a weird like uh care art character, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Art collector. And then, and then all the art comes to life. Would you like that thing to come alive? No. No, probably not. No, it would be um, that. That'd be your death. <laughs> what do you think of it? I think Other, the it's scary. What else? Uh, I mean, the legs are really long. the The ends of the legs look really sharp. Uh huh. They're really pointed. I mean, it's it's creepy. It's like it. <laughs> yeah. You know, you don't want to look right in the middle of the stomach because that's where the, the bright lights are. It's funny because I have a photo close up of the middle of the stomach to show you. Oh, man. <laughs> You're not um, supposed to do that, Mia. Didn't you watch it? <laughs> do you think it's scary because of the way the artist rendered the spider or because it is a spider? Like, mm. who had more effect in this being scary? The fact that it's a spider and in nature spiders are scary or the way the artist made it? I mean, probably the way the artist made it. I think if you would have made the legs more asymmetrical, I suppose, yeah. then I guess it'd be a little less scary. And, like, if the body was more, like, not positioned weird. Like, it. it I mean, it's in a weird position right now. Yeah, right I mean, it is really it's like. Not um, it is, I mean, yes, it is because it's spider-like, but I mean, it's it's in a position like it's gonna strike or that right arm's going up and coming at you. I, I mean, it definitely looks like alive and in motion. Like we can see the rabbit moose behind it, and it looks very like still. Yep. You know, like you're not worried that it's gonna jump up, but the spider dove no. definitely looks like it's like caught in the middle of movement. Yep, it can move them legs at you. Come at you quick. Spider-like. <laughs> um, the artist who made this, her name, so a theme that I ended up deciding to do was just like art made by women or inspired by women. Okay. And so it's interesting that like none of these pieces seem like that feminine. No, I, yep. But that was like something that like pulled to a theme for me. And this artist, her name is Louise Bourgeois, and she makes spider sculptures like this, like, all over. Like, there's really, really, really big ones that she makes, too. Okay. And she makes them because they remind her, they're, like, in honor of her mother. Really? Yes. So... Silent, deadly? <laughs> in a lot of ways, yeah. She said her mom was, a, like, a quiet person. Her mom was a, a seamstress. Like, a, she sewed. Okay. And just the way, like, a spider is actually, like, really protective and nurturing. Mm -hmm. But we just don't think about that. Absolutely. Because they're spooky. Um, but, I mean, it's interesting that you point out that she really didn't, like, render the spider in, like, a loving or sweet way. It's really, no. like, skinny and pointy and sharp. Yeah, I mean, I think if it was, like, crouched down a little bit, you know, kind of like... Uh... I don't know how to describe the like legs. If it was if it was like two feet shorter and the legs were kind of that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it. No, the like the extra space of it standing up high is like kind of unnerving. Yeah, like that strike position. Yes, here she comes. Or is it like I think if it was down low, it'd be almost threatened. You know. Yeah. 
I mean, it's interesting to think of the poses that animals take when they're either like defending or attacking. Absolutely. Because she's not in just like a stationary like middle mode. Yeah. Um, when you're like in person, one thing that's really cool about this piece too is that I don't know how many, but a few of those tips don't touch the ground. Oh yeah. Just do one. Yeah. And so the balance of this piece is really amazing. Oh man. Like just to think about having to build this so that it can stay. Yeah, absolutely. Is I mean, it like, is it mounted to that thing? Like, is it? So there are a few of the, I don't know how many. I would say like most tabs? of the legs are bolted. They have like these little metal cups around right. the very tip of them. Yeah, but I can see one on the front one. Yeah, but not all of them have it. Hmm. And That's so, yeah, it's funny because it's like, I don't know if I could build something out of pipe cleaners that would stand that strong. No, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, yeah. I'd just be like messing with it and it would never stand. So, mm -hmm. it's kind of, I mean, it's incredible. It's you say one. you do have a close up of the belly? We're going to look yes. at a close up of the belly? Ooh. Yeah, see, I guess I haven't ever looked at it close. Yeah, so what can you see inside of it? It looks like it's got eggs or something in there. Yeah, it looks like it's a like rib cage. An egg sac. Yeah. And it's really, like, rough. Like, there's not a lot of smoothness to it. Uh -huh. But it is cool to see, like, the sculpture within the piece, like this internal part. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, if you walk past it, you're not going to look close and see all that. No. I've, I never have. Like I said, we've we've been there probably half a dozen times i've never seen the eggs mm -hmm. yeah. and i mean it it looks like it looks like a like a, a ver like a skeleton vertebrae or not vertebrae. Said rib yeah cage. I mean, vertebrae yeah. rib cage yeah it sternum does. yeah right in the middle yeah so yeah. I mean, that's creepy um, and, like, to think that this piece is, like, made out of bronze and, like, the idea yeah. of, like, constructing something that's so detailed, that's, like, strong mm -hmm. but also fragile. Absolutely. Yeah. So you think next time you go to Sculpture Park, you'll look at the spider a little oh, more yeah. closely? Oh, yeah. And you'll realize that that is a rabbit and not a moose? I'll realize it's a rabbit. I get. I mean, but look at that nose. Rabbits don't have long noses like that. <laughs> Yeah, Most do. I mean, it's a piece of art, though. You know, I don't think spiders have rib cage stomachs. That's very true. No bones. That's probably <laughs> no bones it about real, it. Exoskeleton. That's, a, that's what makes it real scary. Me is that spiders don't have bones, and this thing has a rib cage. <laughs> so. I mean, it's funny because, like, uh, for the longest time, I didn't want to admit that that piece was scary because I liked it so much. Look at the rib cage. But <laughs> I mean, you've helped me see that. There is some intentional creepiness to it. There has to be. If you don't think that's creepy, I've got a couple scary movies you can watch that'll make you think it's creepy. <laughs> aliens. Yeah. Mm. Like aliens. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, um, this is so now. This is our second time looking at art. What mm -hmm. What do you like about looking at art with me? Oh, just hanging out with my sister. Well, that's nice, but what if I wasn't your sister and I was a stranger yeah, looking at art with you? I would still like talking about it, I suppose. I mean, it's it's like like I said the first time is, you know, I don't go out of my way to look at art very often, but if something is there and it, you know, catches my attention, then yes, I will sit there and appreciate it, you know? Yeah. And it's so. like, uh, you know, we're talking and you really like <laughs> watching films and movies and it's um, kind of nice to be able to like, consume art in a way like a movie but it helps to have mm. someone to look at it with you know absolutely it's been fun thank you i think it's been fun all yeah. right well do you have any questions do you have anything you want to say before we go i think i'm good thank you guys for having me and uh i'm glad i could be your pilot <laughs>